So for example, you have here the sleep mode. Console. Console. Anyway, uh, let's jump with the... Uh, by the way, this is the console programming. So, pure black and white. Parang command prompt. Console. Uh, this is for the Windows form programming naman. So, let's start with this one. So, let's create a new project. New... Or new solution. Uh, Windows application. Simple animation. <coughs> so, wala Good. And then, here, let's put a label in our design. Form and label. So, in our label, you can change the icon. I mean, you can put some image to that if you want. Yeah. Anyway. And then, uh, we need to have a control location for that and we need to use the point method and also the timer. So, for the timer, we have two methods. We have the start method and then we have the stop method. Okay. So, this is the sample code. So, let's start. Um, let's put a timer, a ticker. Here we have the timer. Just drag, and then here we have the timer one, and then timer tick. Uh, same lang. Anyway, here, and then we have the looping statement. So for loop until 1000 and then we have the increment and then we have label 1 location uh, okay. o, open muna yung timer muna para hindi tayo malito so first dito muna tayo so galawin na muna natin uh, we have the uh, form load so once okay form load so once na nag load yung form natin uh, what will happen so we'll change the position of the label so for for now the current location of our label one is 262 for the x-axis and then for the y-axis is 217 so let's go now to our source from load uh, we have here the location yeah for example so label one that location new point uh, we don't have any loop for example one one let's try run so nandun siya changes in our location but in our code the location of our label is in here Man. so the current location is 319 and 258 for the y axis but when you run the program the location of label 1 is 1 and 1 okay so that is the use of the point so that you can control the current location of the, <coughs> the of the object and then that let, uh, that location then next uh, what if we put that in our timer okay for the timer um, yeah. so the timer will set an interval of uh, milliseconds or seconds yeah. uh, here we have the once the timer starts So we have a looping statement here. Then we pag 1000 na siya, then the timer will stop. So in 
Luke 25 1000 and then level 1 and then it will change the value of blue from 25 to 1000 because it is incremental and then if in case that it reaches uh, the value 1000 of our loop then it will stop so let's try okay. but in our initial component okay, under the initial component we have to start the timer yun mabilis nga lang siya let's set the windows to maximum <coughs> maximize nag animate from this point to this point that is for <coughs> so once it reaches the until 1000 then it will stop the timer anyway this is very important our loop uh, first we have 25 25 so x axis is 25 then 25 then it will increment so now the value of our loop 25 plus 1 will be 26 so that's why it moved from left to right but if you change this one for example 25 this is x axis this is x axis and this is the y axis if you still remember in your math the x, x axis and y axis anyway so for example here we have 25 and we have loop in here what will happen start pababa naman siya from the top downwards okay so that is uh, how the uh, how to use the the timer together with the looping statement and point method and as well as, as the location okay so yun then next thing so that is for the animation